Hi Treasure Hunting friends, I thought to put together some information about the new detector that's come out with my lab, the uh, Manticore uh, detector. I thought just put some brief information for you guys and let's get to it to make it easier to understand what it's capable of doing. I thought I'd just mention some information without all the great hype and straight to the interesting points which we detectorists want to know. Well, it's, a, it's not a starter machine, that's, that's for certain. Uh, it's a mixture of the CTX3030 and the Equinox. It's, uh, the stems are made of uh, carbon fibre, which is great news. So the problems that we had on the Equinox, hopefully we're not going to get it on this particular detector. And uh, how, can you, how can we benefit from having this machine? Because I don't think it's going to be a cheap one. Um, it's a, a lot lighter, so it's claimed that it will go 50% deeper. Uh, than the Equinox, which is something we'd like to see. It's also waterproof under five meters, which is great um, for those people that go in the water, which is, I'm one of those guys that do. I love going in the water, detecting in, in, in the sea. The main thing I think is the faster recovery speed, which is which is great. Uh, yeah, I think that that'll be that be what we want, is faster recovery speed, and also apparently improved discrimination uh, uh, on the detector, which obviously we want to dig less trash out and more um, greater targets. Apparently this machine has a, a great uh, notching system on it, so we're just going to be eager to find out what type of notching that it is it's capable of doing. We're hoping it will notch out quite a lot of trash, but that's something we've got to see. It's definitely an advantage, no doubt about it. Less trash, more positive targets. That's what we want to get. Uh, I think this also has enhanced audio. Unfortunately, for a full test and to get a really good idea of this machine, in, you need to try it on pasture, ploughed land, rivers, beaches, and in the sea for a, a good while before you can make some sort of assumptions whether it's a good machine or not. And it's going to take some time to understand it at all those different levels. So it's not a switch on and go type machine or just let's twiddle a few programs and away we go. I mean, it does have factory settings, but you know and I know we all like fine tuning. And UK price is about £1,800, which is not cheap. Of course, I want to know, you know, what, it, what, what will it dig? Will it dig small bits of... Uh, gold, that's what I want to know, small bits of gold, small chains, I mean chains, we don't dig chains, so it's hard to dig chains, so I'd like to, I'd like to see if it digs at small gold chains, uh, broken rings, earrings, gold, that, that'd be interesting to know, um, yeah, I, I'd like to have a go and, and see what I, whether, what I think about it, I think it's, it's all looking positive and interesting and it would be the right points any further information that, that, that I can get my hands on, uh, I, I shall put it together on the video and let you know. Thanks for watching and um, let's just hope this is going to be a good one.